Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about the characteristics of iron meteorites in comparison to man-made metals and showing sample images of man-made metal that most people mistakenly thought that it was a meteorite. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Any photos and information are based on the article posted online by Washington University in St. Louis. Iron meteorites are captivating extraterrestrial objects that have traveled through space before crashing onto our planet. These meteorites originate from the molten cores of ancient asteroids or larger celestial bodies. On the other hand, man-made metals are crafted through various industrial processes using natural resources found on Earth. One significant distinction between iron meteorites and man-made metals lies in their origin and formation. Iron meteorites are believed to have formed under extreme conditions in space, where they experienced rapid cooling. This unique environment allows iron meteorites to possess distinct crystal structures and intriguing patterns known as Widmanstaden patterns. In contrast, man-made metals are shaped using techniques such as smelting, refining, and casting. These methods allow for the manipulation and control of the metal's composition, resulting in customizable properties and structures to suit various applications. Iron meteorites offer a glimpse into the cosmos with their composition. They mostly consist of iron and nickel, along with trace amounts of other elements like cobalt and phosphorus. This elemental composition sets them apart from most man-made metals, which typically focus on elemental combinations like iron and carbon, steel, aluminum and copper, bronze, or copper and zinc, brass. Additionally, iron meteorites have endured extreme temperatures during their journey through space, thereby exhibiting unique features upon impact with Earth's atmosphere. Fusion crusts, regmaglyphs, thumbprint-like depressions, and metallic lusters are distinguishing characteristics found on iron meteorites. Setting them apart from the polished, refined surfaces of man-made metals, this object was not made by humans. It is an iron meteorite, Campo del Cielo, which formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago. There is a small, 0.5-inch, ceramic magnet attached. No irregular shape with no symmetry, no sharp edges, no straight lines, no flat parts, some regmaglyphs, and a little rust. Iron meteorites do not have a fusion crust, but they do have a patina. If you have found a piece of metal that is not strongly attracted to a magnet, then it is not a meteorite. The metal in iron meteorites consists of two alloys that together are commonly called iron nickel, phenny, metal. The metal in iron meteorites, stony iron meteorites, and palisites strongly attracts a cheap ceramic magnet. Humans have been making and losing metal things for thousands of years. Iron metal, wrought iron and cast iron, also strongly attracts a cheap magnet. Some stainless steels do not attract magnets. If it looks like metal and attracts a magnet, then you have to have it analyzed for iron, nickel, manganese, and chromium to determine whether it is man-made or an iron meteorite. However, it is often easy to tell that it is man-made just from the shape. Iron meteorites are rounded but not spherical. There are no straight lines, right angles, or flat parts. Also, you cannot break an iron meteorite and it will not have broken sides. Here are some photos that look like iron meteorites. All of the photos were sent to Dr. Randy Koratev by people who thought the objects might be meteorites. He suspect that many of these things were found with metal detectors. In his opinion, all this stuff is man-made. Here are the images of man-made metal things that most of the people thought that it was an iron meteorite. Round man-made metal things. If it is spherical or circular, then it is not a meteorite. The hex nut both sides was found with a metal detector at a fairgrounds. Flat-sided man-made metal things. If it has flat sides, right angles, or a geometric shape, then it is not a meteorite.
long thin, made metal things. Dentritic man made metal things. Some of these things appear to have been molten metal poured onto a flat surface or the ground. Others appear to have been molten metal poured into water or oil. Meteorites are not dendritic. Shiny man made metal things. Some of these things appear to be metallic but not iron, non ferrous. Molten metal, probably aluminum poured on a flat surface. None of this stuff is rusty, so it's probably all aluminum. And more man-made metal things. In conclusion, iron meteorites and man-made metals each have their own allure and significance. Iron meteorites provide us with a glimpse into the mysteries of the universe, while man-made metals offer remarkable versatility and functionality in our everyday lives. Whether you choose to explore the cosmos or harness the power of human ingenuity, both these materials are bound to leave an everlasting impact. Thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.